throughout history, people have experienced or witnessed strange paranormal situations. Many of them are so inexplicable and terrifying that they seem to have come straight out of a horror movie. You are about to discover facts that will leave you speechless. Discretion is advised. Shh. 10 People Who Actually Reincarnated Ryan Hammonds, United States Every father dreams of having a healthy, strong, and beautiful child. This is exactly what the Hammonds family got with the arrival of little Ryan. However, all that happiness was overshadowed when the child turned four years old. It was then when things began to change drastically for this peaceful Oklahoma family. This kid started having disturbing nightmares frequently. His tiresome sobs awakened his mother Cindy who went to Ryan's bed every night with the intention of calming him and getting him to sleep. This was all in vain as little Ryan's nightmares did not have an end. On many occasions, they could hear the child saying that he wanted to go back to Hollywood. Was this possibly a real reincarnation? Cindy took Ryan to a local library to find some clues about his supposed past life. He pointed and recognized a photograph from a 1932 film called Night After Night. George Raft starred in it a well-known celebrity from the 30s, and by his side was an actor who Ryan looked at with surprise. His mother took him to Jim Tucker, a famous psychiatry professor at the University of Virginia. Marty Martin was the name of the actor in the photograph. During his sessions, Ryan identified a total of 55 aspects of the deceased actor's life. Dr. Tucker is skeptical about reincarnations in children, but he most certainly believes in possible paranormal origins to this phenomenon. You'd better ask your son or nephew about his past life, uh, only to be sure. Sami Tutusmis, Turkey A very particular case of reincarnation happened in the small village of Sarkonak, Turkey. The little Sami Tutusmis, a boy who was born healthy and stable, was then having things become quite disturbing for the Tutusmis family. When little Sami learned to talk, he also began to say nonsensical things to his mom, since he used to claim that his name was Salim Fesli. Sami's mother had a dream, or rather a nightmare during her pregnancy, where she saw a man with a bloody face who said that his name was Salim Fesli. Terrifying, don't you think? <coughs> Strangely enough, in the neighboring town, a man was shot down in the face and in the right ear, and little Sami had a malformation in his right ear. And if that wasn't enough, at the age of four, the boy went to Fesli's widow's house. When he met her, he said, I am Salim, and you are my wife, Katib. OMG! Luke Ruhlman, United States Luke was a quiet and calm kid from Cincinnati until he turned two and started talking to his parents about his past life. He claimed that he wasn't a man but a woman named Pam who had beautiful black hair but, unfortunately, died after trying to escape the flames of a fire building in Chicago. Pam jumped through the window in an attempt to save her own life, but this hasty decision only accelerated her fatal death. According to reports, in 1993, a woman named Pamela Robinson had died in a fire at the Paxton Hotel in the city of Chicago. Luke's parents were totally shocked by the story as well as the police report which matched exactly what their little son was telling them. To prove that Luke was not lying or making up that fatal story, his mother decided to print several photographs of African-American women, including that of Pamela Robinson. Luke, without hesitation, pointed to Robinson's photo and said, That's Pam! Gus Ortega, United States at the young age of one and a half years, Gus started to act as if in his previous life he was his own grandfather. Even at his young age, he was able to make a number of very specific statements about his deceased grandfather. This is one of the most striking and compelling worldwide cases of reincarnation, even being investigated by Jim Tucker, a psychiatrist at the University of Virginia. Gus was born a year after his beloved grandfather died of a terrible stroke in Colorado. One day, when his own dad was changing his diapers, the kid told his father, When I was your age, I had to change your diaper. This simple but shocking phrase left the man completely perplexed and couldn't even find words to reply. 
Duminda Bandara Ratnyaki, Sri Lanka. Duminda started to narrate his past life when he was only three years old and claimed that he was a monk. Therefore, he decided to follow the doctrines, behaviors, and restrictions of the monks. Surprisingly, he said that he was a veteran monk from the Asgiria Temple, who at the time of death suffered a severe pain in the chest area. He also claimed to own a red car and spoke with great emphasis about an elephant and a small radio. Incredibly, the story told by little Duminda matched that of monk Mahanayaka Gunapana's life to a T, so he could be in front of irrefutable proof of his reincarnation. Ian Hagedorn, United States This child from Pensacola claimed to be a New York City policeman who died of a gunshot wound. He recalled the last night he lived. He entered a store where a group of criminals were robbing. He died because one of the ruffians shot him in the chest. The most curious fact of this case is that little Ian suffers from a rare heart disease, which causes him to faint when he overexhausts himself. Cameron Macaulay, Scotland. This adorable and quiet Scottish boy who loves to draw was six years old. But unlike many others, Cameron liked to draw a house with a single floor, a white facade, and a remote location in a bay. His mother asked him about that house and the drawing, and he said that it was actually his home, where he lived with his old mother. This house was on Barra, an island in Scotland located about 161.55 miles from his current home. Cameron's parents thought that the boy was making everything up. Thanks to Professor Jim Tucker, Cameron and his family traveled to Barra with the aim of healing their son and uncovering the truth. Professor Tucker and the Macaulay family arrived at the house from the drawings, letting Cameron explore at will. A descendant of the Robertson family, original owners of that white house, had a chat with little Cameron. Unfortunately, he could not give her many details about his past life. Nazi al Danoff, Lebanon Dr. Erlander Haraldson traveled to Lebanon, looking into this strange case. Nazi spoke pleasantly and with complete confidence about his past life, narrated with great pride and complacency about his weapons. He showed total and complete interest in cigars and whiskey. In his past life, Nazi had a red car, and this was the one he crashed after a group of people were aiming to gun him down. All this happened in a town called Kaber Shamoon, located 10.5 miles away from his home. There, a man named Fuad Asad Kadaji corroborated the scabrous stories and details that little Nazi stated, telling it was all indeed true. Dilukshi Nisanka, Sri Lanka the case of Delukshi is one of the best documented reincarnation cases. It happened in Sri Lanka. Investigated exclusively by Professor Erlander Haraldson from the Iceland University, the kid spoke for three years about her past life, in which she claims to not be her parents' daughter. Yes, that's right, Delukshi claimed to have other parents and having passed away near the city of Dambula. She also claimed to have died when she fell off of a bridge while crossing the river. Every time she spoke of her past life and the terrifying details of her death, her parents could not help but to be hurt for their dead daughter. This event was so strong in the life of the Nisankas that they decided to take Duluski to Dambula in order to find the people in her past life. The little girl surprisingly recognized several places and aspects of the area. When arriving where her old family lived, Dilukshi finally felt at home. Shiromi was the name of the little girl who fell off the bridge and into the river that Dilukshi narrated with terror. This girl drowned in the river when she was six years old. When Delukshi was tested in order to find out if what she was saying was indeed true, she got 12 questions out of the 20 she was asked right with absolute accuracy. Not only was she exact, but totally specific. Spooky! James Leninger, United States This cute child loved to have fun with his toy warplanes, and he played with them all day long. His parents, Andrea and Bruce Leninger, were very curious about this rare attachment to war toys. When James was barely two years old, everything changed for the Leninger family. The child started having constant and terrible nightmares related to war planes. His mother managed to wake him up while James screamed phrases like, Plane on fire! Man cannot get out! When he was three years old, he examined an airplane as if it were a pre-flight verification. 
Therefore, his parents requested the professional help of therapist Carol Bowman. Thanks to regression sessions, the child could remember being a war pilot whose plane was impacted on the right side of the engine by the Japanese planes in Iwo Jima. Thanks to the investigations made by Bruce Leninger, they could find that the only pilot from the American squad killed in Iwo Jima was called James M. Houston Jr., who was only 21 years of age. So much so that this story was turned into a book called Soul Survivor, The Reincarnation of a World War II Fighter Pilot. Now, don't believe that only common people experience these strange events. Celebrities cannot escape from their past either. So that you can understand what I'm talking about, just look at the case of the actor Johnny Depp and his doppelganger from the past, or rather, who he was in his previous life. Who do you think is the mysterious character on the left? If you know him, let me know in the comments. I'd like to know about Johnny from the past. If this video amazed you, subscribe to our channel and always activate the notification bell. Share it with your friends. We'll see you in our next reincarnation. No, 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 I'm sorry. In our upcoming Trend Max video.